All right. Yes, dear ones, this is Tara. And what a pleasure it is to be speaking with you today. Certainly so. So much change is occurring within you, reflected in your outer world. Absolutely so. For what you are experiencing today is part of all of those raw materials, your beliefs, your attitudes, your choices, decisions, your thoughts, your feelings. They just seem like words at times. And yet, a matrix of reality is represented as an illusion to you to reflect back to you who you are being in this moment, in this time. It is not to be judged. It is not to be ashamed of. It is not to be given to your ego to say that, oh, I'm better than. None of you actually do that. But you know of people in your illusion who are that way, who represent that better than part of the continuum. More often than not, the lesser self is based on what's wrong with you or how to survive the pain, the shame, the rejection, or all of that that occurred in childhood, that occurred in adolescence during the time of wounding. And so the theme these days, to move beyond the pain, to move into dominion, it requires letting go of the chauvinism. It requires opening to dominion. What is dominion for you? It is a resonance first and foremost. And so as you take time and space to allow it to be more real, to explore, to experience, to define what is the difference between who you have been in the past and who you are becoming. What is different when you remember to ask, who am I really? And you open to the more of you instantly in that question built into the question itself. For you cannot exist in what you know to be true based on facts, based on the illusion, the evidence in the illusion, based on the past, the backdrop of the past that you automatically wake up into each and every day. It's different each day. You may not remember that it's different because who you wake up into, that resonance that you wake up into is what is so right now. Within within that resonance is a past that makes sense. Our optimal futures, many futures that make sense. And then there are those beyond the logic, beyond the reason where the magic comes into play. And those are those optimal futures that we encourage you to reach for. The most positive expression of you in the future, in time and space. And then to explore the resonance of that future. As you allow that resonance to change you in the now. As you let it change you now, it changes the backdrop of the past also. For when you recognize there is a me that is whole and complete, that is fully self-expressed, and connect it to higher self, to soul, to spirit, to God and goddess who is looking forward into the next expansion, whatever that may be. And that you is a truer you. Is more of who you truly are 
than who you are currently being, as expressed as you already are. You are good enough. You are more than good enough. The good enough answers the lesser self's concerns. Be aware of that. That at the end of the day, when you say, oh, I just wish I knew I was good enough. I just wish I knew I was worthy. Those are not the concerns of you the more. Those concerns have been healed and answered in you the more. They are the concerns of the lesser self. And as you understand, it's a matrix that became an identity. Meaning what you think, what you say, what you do, how you feel is all affected by these lesser self-concerns. So when you assume going into an event of some kind, might be grocery shopping, might be going to a concert, might be walking into a stadium where you are the main event. Doesn't matter how public it is. May just be you going into meditation and meeting with higher self. When you approach it from the lesser self standpoint, am I enough? Am I good enough? Do I deserve? Am I worthy? When you don't allow the answer to fill you with light and love. Because the answer is always yes, you are. Yes, you are. And so it's time to be free of that old matrix. Some of you call it the dark shield. Cemented it at the time of wounding. Others of you have, have broken free, but then something happens and you just know, I thought I was done with that. I thought I had grown and changed, but now here it is again. And so the doubt creeps in. But really all it is is the lesser self saying, this is still in the matrix. This negativity this identity that has you be separate from who you are, separate from God goddess, separate even from the illusion that is your feedback mechanism. It produces fear. It produces anguish and despair, hopelessness. It produces a sense of, I am not enough. And yet you are. You just don't know it yet. Meaning it's not in the known. The information isn't in what you know to be true. And what that means is, I don't really believe it yet. I might be holding out for a guarantee to be more safe. I might be holding out because I'm going to change if I let it be real. And yet, here you are, this group that gathers. You are changing. You are becoming more and reaching for the truer self, the you that already knows the optimal future is your path forward. Some of you hold it as, oh, it's my destiny. It's my ultimate destination. And we would argue that, no, it is your next step to expand, to be the most positive expression of you. It is who you are meant to be. 
not at the end, but during your lifetime. Those are the maps that you are making for you first and for your world. Because your world is an illusion that must reflect back to you who you are being. And so you get glimpses from time to time. And it feels different when you experience in the illusion something of the more real. It brings a hopefulness. It brings a light, a sense of love. And as you dip back into the lesser self, it seems vague. It seems, did I make that up? Is that a fantasy? Can I really trust that? That that is my future? Can I really trust my higher self? And so as you let it be more real, And we will do a meditation to explore that mechanism so that you step out of one and into the other and you get to choose and you get to understand what am I still holding on to and why? What is my luminous intent for staying small, for being constricted, for holding on to The idea, it was a concept. It was what you decided. You didn't have any other explanation for feeling bad. But along the way, you have gathered enough tools. You are enough. You are good enough. Even if you don't think so yet, it's okay. You're going to make a choice. And choice can change the rest of the raw materials. And so find your comfortable position as you lean back, as you lie down. Gently close your eyes as you prepare to meditate. Breathe in a gentle breath of relaxation. And on the exhale, release the stress and strain from your day, from the world around you. So much chaos at the moment, all this anticipation of the election results for those of you who are in the U.S. You anticipate a change is happening. And with change comes that fear of uncertainty. Is it what I want? Will the change produce what I want? Will I get what I want? Will I be who I want to be? And those who aren't tied to the election are still anticipating change because it is who you are. You are expanding. You are growing so very much. And so just breathe out that stress and strain that you sense from your environment and breathe in more relaxation and just let that relaxation fill you. Let it calm you, center you, relax you. Continue to breathe in and out at your own pace. Some of you breathe more quickly, more shallowly, and that's okay. Just let it slow down a bit so that you relax. Sometimes taking a deep breath in is all you really need to relax. And on the exhale, exhale for just a moment longer, Signaling your body to just let it go, to relax, to be at peace.
peace. And we will count from 10 to 1 with each descending number. You'll go deeper and deeper into an altered state of mind. We call meditation. Breathing gently in and out. Becoming more and more relaxed. We will count from 10 to 1. At the count of one, you'll find yourself in your safe place. Your safe place may be a beautiful place in nature or a room of your own design. Familiar, beautiful, and safe. Continue to breathe gently in and out. Going deeper, letting go. Ten, nine, eight. Going deeper, letting go. Seven, six, five. Begin to sense safety around you. Four, three, two, and one. You are there in your safe place. Feel the tingles on the soles of your feet as the earth energy rises up to greet you, swirling around you and within you grounding you in safety. As you open your mental eyes, see what safety is made of for you. Perhaps it's in the colors around you, bright or dim. Perhaps it's in the light of day or night. Or the boundary, near or far. It's just right for you today, in this moment. This is safety. Your safety. So beautiful, so wonderful, so peaceful. As you notice the objects you've placed there, sacred objects, a beautiful crystal, a mantle of magic, a staff of power, a blueprint from your Syrian magician, a message from your dreamer, a gift from God, goddess, symbols and sigil, meaningful to you. All of these hold resonance, experiences in resonance, consciousness that assists you on your journey in some cases. As you move about your safe place, begin to build that sense of safety. Only you are there in safety until you invite someone to join you. And so invite your higher self to join you in your safe place. And at the edge of safety, a beautiful being of light appears. Or perhaps your higher self comes in personified form, familiar to you. As you approach each other in greeting, feel the love, the unconditional love your higher self has for you. As you embrace or hold hands, just be together. Feel yourself relax even more. You did not know you were holding some sort of weight. But in the presence of higher self, just dissipates. Becomes easier to be. You feel that groundedness, that centeredness. That comes from knowing you are loved. 
unconditionally. And so today, an opportunity to explore, to make a new choice, or perhaps to revisit a choice you more recently made, but from a place of empowerment, from a place of knowing who you are. And so your higher self has an adventure planned and leads you beyond safety onto a path. It may be the same path you always take when exiting your safe place, or it may be brand new. Just allow it to be whatever is right for you today. And as you and higher self walk, moving along the path easily, elegantly, effortlessly. The terrain begins to change. It evolves based on what you need, what represents safety to you, though you are beyond your safe place. When you are with higher self, and you always are, but you are not always conscious of your higher self. When you're aware of your connection to higher self. You move about the world differently. You know that you are safe. And it is a foundation that promotes a deeper sense of you, an awareness that there is more to you than what you think or say or do more to you even than you feel, though that is a beautiful thing to feel your feelings. Many times those feelings are simply reactions to outside stimuli. The more important emotions are those that are part of resonance, that you experience as you move and shift from one state to another. And so today, an exploration of that mechanism, for you can do so by choice. And so your higher self is leading you to a scene, not so much a scene, but an environment, one in which you can encounter the lesser self strategies most optimally will be a beautiful place in nature. Perhaps you find yourself at Ocean Beach as you feel the sand beneath your the soles of your feet. Perhaps there's a bit of moisture from the waves as they lap your toes. And there's the sound of the waves. A rhythmic sound that you can depend on. It changes. It's ever-changing. It's never the same. Each wave that comes and goes is similar, but not the same. For each wave is impacted by different factors. And as you sense the waves coming in and flowing out, you begin to relax in the presence of that beautiful expanse of water. Your higher self is with you. Simply being with you in this environment. Perhaps you found yourself climbing a mountain knowing you had to get to the top. The path was easy and elegant as you moved back and forth, climbing ever higher. Feel the atmosphere changing. You feel that lightness of being that occurs when the air is rarefied. And as you reach the pinnacle, a plateau really, 
you take a deep breath in for the air welcomes you, swirling around you, lifting your spirit. You feel so free. You're glad you made the effort to climb all the way to the top. For as far as the eye can see, it feels as though you can see forever in all directions. And the wind lifts you as you raise your arms. You feel as though you're being lifted. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> But you feel as though you are. You are more free here than your higher self. Enjoying the scene as well is managing the energies, aware of you, aware of what you need in this moment. Perhaps you found yourself walking into the depths of the sacred grove where the light becomes much more dim before it brightens again. And you feel the presence of the ancients, a place to commune, to connect, to feel the oneness in the sacred grove. You reach the clearing, the one you always end up at, there's a single beam of light, maybe sunlight, maybe moonlight, or maybe starlight. Whatever's right for you. You and higher self, bathed in the light. You begin to sense the connection at your crown at your eighth chakra beneath your feet. It's as though you sense a heartbeat of the forest that matches yours. As you begin to relax into it, simply relax. Breathing more slowly and yet with more depth. Allow the communion with the ancient one. Perhaps you found yourself wandering down into a valley. Beautiful colors, vibrant, alive and the sounds of nature in the buzz of the bees in the gentle breeze that flows through the trees or the grasses, whatever the environment you're in. You're following a stream. Might be just a trickle, but it promises to become more, and so you follow it. A babbling brook Allow the water to guide you deeper into the valley, to the waterfall. For no reason at all, there is a pool that has gathered, fed by the spring, fed by the brook. And a waterfall coming out of the stone. And you notice there's a space behind the water and a path that leads to it. And so you and higher self move easily and effortlessly behind the waterfall into the cavern that is there, into the depths of earth. It is a beautiful space. In this place, you feel the movement of the energies. A waterfall is flowing, an infinite flow. And yet it is the earth that cocoons you, 
that is solid, that feels eternal. And so you and higher self settle in to gather from the energies what is needed. And so wherever you stand at Ocean Beach, on mountain top in Sacred Globe, behind the waterfall, you are there with higher self. Allow yourself to be in that environment. In this moment, your higher self is going to show you an experience that represents resistance to change. It may be an old memory that you hadn't thought of in a very long time. It may be just a hint of emotion of resistance. It may be a thought, a judgment that has kept you safe. It may be the wounding when you finally decided you'll never be enough, you'll never be good enough or worthy. As much as you try, as much as you resist, it seems that there's always something as you Recognize what it is. Consider this is a part of your identity that must go. This is what has kept you safe. But in keeping you safe, it has shut out other opportunities. It has shut out awareness of the more of you. And so just feel that pinched self, that constriction, the you that is fighting and resisting change, the you that says, no, I don't know what's on the other side of change. It's not safe or I will be all alone if I change. Whatever it is that justifies the holding on of the old stuff that made perfect sense to the child or the adolescent and even the young adult, Time to be free. And so it's represented as a jacket, something that can easily be taken off. Might even be your favorite outerwear, whatever it is. Might have buttons. Simple or ornate. Might have a zipper that always breaks or that is so strong that it gets caught as though it doesn't want to be taken off. Might feel too tight now. So you've outgrown it. used to be so comfortable, but now it feels constricting. It 
or even just looking at the fabric. It's from such a long time ago. The fabric is no longer in fashion. That's so how you know it doesn't suit you anymore. But you've held on to it anyway. Because it's so comfortable. So safe. Might be tattered. Might have holes. Might be frayed. When you're ready, ask your higher self to remove it. This old identity that is made up of resistances to change. And with your higher self's help, the buttons fly open, the zipper unzips. The clothing is simply pulled off. And there is a place to discard it. Perhaps a bonfire that it gets thrown into. Perhaps just a trash bin. Perhaps your higher self simply waves their hands and it disappears. For it's just old energy, no longer useful, ready to be transformed. And so somehow it is transformed. It is released. And your higher self conjures up a new one. Something that is more appropriate to who you are becoming. Woven in the fabric is a memory. A memory of who you truly are. You've caught glimpses of it here and there. Perhaps in other lifetimes, in Lemuria, in Atlantis, on Sirius, on Orion even. And your higher self helps you put it on. And it fits perfectly. So comfortable, so easy to wear. Almost like a second skin. And everything works. The size is right. Might even be a little bit of room to grow into it. The zipper works. The buttons button. The fabric is timeless. And you feel the warmth or woven into the fabric are new memories. And they begin to fill you, your mind, your imagination. Your dreams, your visions, imbued with new memories of who you truly are. They become the new framework. They become the new you. And now, as you think of the future, there's a new sense of hope and excitement, of wonder, of joy, of curiosity even. So much to explore. Can it be this easy to change? Your higher self says, yes, it can, and you have done it. It is done. And so it's time to return. And so with a gentle touch, 
You find yourself back in your safe place. Everything is different. As you look about your safe place, notice that you're now seeing more of the real. Perhaps you see it in the energies swirling, in the colors. Everything's so much more vibrant, so much more alive. Perhaps you're aware of the elementals. The silk, the undine, the gnome, the salamander. Perhaps you're aware of the boundary being just right. May have changed from before. And so it's time to return. Your higher self says their goodbyes with an embrace or holding hands or simply saying goodbye, moving to the edge of safety to return to their realm as you prepare to return to the here and now. At the count of five, you will be back. With each number, you will return a little bit more comfortably so, remembering all that is appropriate. One. Two, returning bit by bit. Three, sense your fingers, sense your toes. Four. And five, open your eyes. Take a deep breath in and on the exhale, ground. So although it seemed benign, it seemed so easy, you went deeper than you know. And so rub your legs or your arms or gently tap your forehead to get yourself back into your body, back into the here and now.